What is the hadith in Allah khalaq al-insan ala surat al-Rahman aw kama qal or as it is found in Bukhari and Muslim idha qatila ahadukum falyajtanib al-wajh fa inna Allah khalaq Adam ala suratihi when any of you fights he must avoid the face for God created Adam in his own image what does this hadith mean as mentioned clearly in the verse, ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع البصير. There is nothing like him. He is the all-hearing, the all-seeing. There is nothing which resembles God. He is above and beyond his entire creation. So how is it possible that there is nothing like God, as mentioned by the Quran, but at the same time that humans are created in the image of God, as mentioned in the Hadith? How should we understand this Hadith in a way that is compatible? with the verse. When the verse mentions that nothing resembles God, it is talking about the person or self of God known as that in Arabic. It is not talking about the attributes or names of God such as the merciful, the knowledgeable, the powerful, the forgiving, and so on. How so? It means that there isn't the slightest shred of similarity between the that or person of God and that of any of his creation in any possible way. That being said, it is possible possible to observe many names of God in humans or other beings, as tiny and insignificant as they are in comparison to those of God, they still do exist. God for instance is merciful towards his creation, and a mother is merciful towards her children. Though the mercy of a mother is nothing compared to that of God, it still exists in her. God is the knowledgeable, and a scholar is knowledgeable on certain subjects and has some knowledge even if it's nothing compared to the knowledge of God. God. God is the powerful and a wrestler has some degree of power or strength compared to other people. Again, the power of a wrestler is absolutely nothing compared to that of God. As insignificant and negligible it is when compared to the power of God, it still exists in him. In fact, we see some hadiths which draw a resemblance between some attributes of humans and the names of God. Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, some prisoners were brought to the message messenger of Allah والسلام, amongst whom there was a woman who was running searching for her child. When she saw a child among the captives, she took hold of it, pressed it against her belly and gave it a suck. The messenger of Allah والسلام, said, do you think this woman would ever throw her child in fire? We said, by Allah, she would never throw the child in fire. Thereupon, the messenger of Allah والسلام, said, Allah is more kind to his slave than this woman woman is to her child. Here we see the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, drawing resemblance between the mercy of a mother towards her child and the mercy of God towards his creation. Now to be clear, the attributes of humans or other living beings are infinitely weak and infinitesimal shadows of the names of God. They are in no way the same. Also they depend on God since God is the one who gives mercy to a mother or power to a wrestler. These attributes help us in understanding the names of God. If nobody had mercy to another, we would not understand what it means for God to be the merciful. As seen in the Hadith, the Prophet Muhammad draws attention to the mercy of a mother, something that we're familiar with, and from there describes the mercy of God, something we wouldn't truly understand had we not seen samples of it around us. Similarly, if nobody had knowledge, we wouldn't understand the concept of being knowledgeable and thus fail to understand what it means for God to be the knowledgeable. If nobody had power, we would not know what it means for our creator to be the powerful and so on.